Tui, let's go back um, to the pre-season. What happened with that injury that you had that uh, slowed you down? Yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty funny. Um, I had a history on my foot during the pre-season in Geelong camp. Just got like a pen of fascia and then um, it was coming along well. And then uh, when we got our second trial in uh, Christchurch, it was so funny. I was just took my last one during the warm-up and then just feel something just pop underneath my foot. I was like, oh, I must be injured again. And then went and see uh, our physio. And he said, oh, we don't want to risk it because, you know, round one is coming up. And then ended up um, uh, the following week, got a scan. I got a, a tendon, tore a tendon underneath my right foot. So that's why I didn't play in the first couple of rounds. So then you're back in action round three on a very hot afternoon on the Gold Coast. <laughs> But managed to get some good minutes here. Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, yeah, that was a pretty, pretty good game to be back at. Well, obviously, I'm from Fiji. Got to getting used to the warm weather. I like it to be honest. But uh, in saying that, you know, your first game back is always the hard one. So just to get the cobwebs out of your out of your system. But now it was good to be back playing footy again. And of course, the good thing for us was, uh, well, not good thing for us, but it was good to have you back because Nelson was out. So you, you stepped right in. Yeah, well, when losing Nelson, that's always a big suit to feel. He's such a um, strong, strong forward in the middle, always uh, led by his hard running and tackle and stuff. So when he got down uh, after round two, I was um, I was keen to get out there and uh, fill up uh, Nelson's shoes. But in saying that, I can't wait for him to be back in the next couple of weeks. And with Nelson out, have you felt like you've got extra responsibility because you're one of the more senior forwards there now? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um, that's always been my... My, my focus every time I go into the field is just uh, lead with my accents. That's the main, main thing. Uh, I don't talk a lot, but I rather lead with my accents. And uh, that's one of the things I try to implement this year during my game. Just go out there and do my job. And the young fellas, as long as the young fellas see me doing my job, they'll do their job as well. So that's been my main focus, yeah. And not long ago, you signed a, a contract extension. Tell us about your excitement with that one. Well, um, even before I came here, like before I played around, uh, Melbourne Storm gave me the opportunity to play one game and I uh, nearly played my 100th uh, game. So Melbourne Storm is always um, a club that always gives me an opportunity growing up in Fiji, uh, living my childhood dream to become a, a professional footy player. So I'll be staying here for the next couple of years and uh, i got heaps of mates here from uh, day one with Jazzy and Nelson and pretty much all the boys. So uh, I was keen to stay here for the next couple of years. Now, I remember talking to you, one of your goals, your rugby league career, was to get a carver farm back in Fiji. Yeah. How has that progressed? Now it's coming along well. I uh, started planting way back in 2017. Uh, we got heaps of land back, back in the island. So, uh, well, obviously, my, my old man is a, is a farmer. He's a carver farm growing up. My mum, she, she's a school teacher. So, as soon as I get here, I just want to make use of the land because no one makes use of the land back home. So, yeah, I've been planting a uh, carver, just, uh, you know, life after footy, I guess. <laughs> Is that going to be a career, you think? Uh, well, I just want to support my family as much as I can. Uh, I always um, like send money back home for, for the old man to look after the farm and stuff. It's coming along well. So I started harvesting last year, which able for me to um, uh, surprise them, bought them a, a new truck uh, for Christmas last year. So I didn't uh, tell them, but I just want a good Christmas present for them last year. So that was coming along well. What's the carver like from the Kamakamita farm? Oh, it's pretty strong to be honest. Like it's 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 five years. The thing of carver is like the longer you plant it and then you harvest it, for example, three four years, that's a good quality. So uh, it's very strong to be honest. Yeah. Just finally back on the footy, South Sydney this week they had an extra point win on the weekend. Uh, really high quality game, so they're going to be stiff competition. Oh yeah. Always, you look at that team, they're such a, a quality team, um, got uh, stars all over the park and uh, for us, I'm playing in the middle, of this, they got like some big forwards, uh, forwards back, so uh, it's going to be a big task for us this week, coming against the big uh, forwards back um, on Friday night, so uh, just like you said, they came off like a, a tough game on, on the weekend against Manly with a field goal, so we're preparing for like a good tough uh, match up there in Sydney on uh, Friday night.